little bit about? Well, I think really what I wanted to say even with the Democrat and even with anyone that has daughters mm -hmm. or a mother or a sister or any female in your family, okay. and I know that some males do get breast cancer as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, it's just something that you need to know your own body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you need to pay attention to things when your body is telling you something is wrong okay and uh, I think that me thinking hey I'm 33 I'm young I'm healthy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I eat right I exercise um, it's probably just a flu or something minor and it'll go away mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it makes all the difference when you know that something is wrong and okay. insist that somebody listens to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think mine all started with chest pains mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of weakness and fatigue. Okay, okay. So, you know, I did the norm. I went to my doctor and I said, you know, I'm really, really tired. And they said, well, you probably just need to take some vitamins, multivitamins, women your age take multivitamins, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm sorry, that's, that's interesting. So you did go to the doctor yeah. uh, initially, and yes. uh, their, their response was, well, you just probably... Stress from stress. the job. Huh, huh. <laughs> yeah, stress from the job, mm -hmm. and women your age do take multivitamins, okay. so mm -hmm. the tiredness is probably that. Mm -hmm. um, there was no explanation for the chest pains besides stress from my job. Okay, okay. And I worked two jobs, so I just figured they might be right. Okay, okay. <laughs> two jobs, okay. two reasonable. girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that after a year of listening to what they said and ignoring what my body was telling me, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think that my body just started showing me better than it could tell me okay. when I started to see a lot of different swelling and discoloration okay. and mm -hmm. um, I thought, okay, something is really wrong and I'm going to have to find out what it is and that means I'll have to go someplace else because where I've been going, um, they're all consistent that it's just stress. Mm -hmm. Just stress. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. stress. Mm -hmm. and. They were wrong, okay. of course. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think that um, my mother was the first one that noticed, you know, I haven't talked to you in three months, and I thought I was the reason you're here. So <laughs> <laughs> where are you and what's going on? And I just, you know, kept telling her, Mom, I'm just so tired. I mean, I'm really, really tired, and I'm working two jobs. I can't talk right now. You know, let me call you back. And... It just went on and on, and mm -hmm. finally she just popped over, which I do not like moms popping <laughs> over. <laughs> and that's another story, but uh, to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she came by and mm -hmm. forced me to show her what was going on. Sure. Mm -hmm. So then she just got all ballistic and, oh, we're going to the hospital right now. Hmm. And I said, Mom, well, you know, by this time I've lost my job and the other one let me go, and I need to have some way to pay for this doctor mm -hmm. visit. Mm -hmm. Besides, I've been there and they are telling me I'm okay. It's probably just an infection. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. Mm -hmm. She said, no, I'm taking you to, to the hospital. And so we went, of course, and um, he right away looked and said, oh my God, how long has this been growing? Mm -hmm. 